Hello viewers and welcome to the first episode of this playthrough of Tropico 6. For those of you who don't know it, Tropico 6 is basically a SimCity set in the Caribbean where you get to play the dictator of your very own island nation. It's actually a pretty cool twist because you can be anything from the benevolent overlord to the evil dictator. And we're going to kind of fall somewhere in between on this playthrough. What we're going to do is we're just going to try to build a great economy and then milk it for all it's worth. And uh, yeah, so we're going to get to the modern era. That's the main goal here is to get to the modern era, build up a strong economy, and then just build a shit ton of buildings that are going to let us uh, milk the island dry and not really care about rebellion or anything else. Uh, we may use a powerful army to suppress people and probably jail a few resistance leaders because, I mean, it's just one of those things that dictators are supposed to do. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started here. So we are going with a huge land mass, uh, a huge size, very high land mass, rare plateaus, large main island, rich resources. We're starting in the World Wars era. Eh, you, you can really start at either one. Um, I, I really don't like playing through the colonial era because I feel like the colonial era is kind of a pain in the ass because you have to deal with the crown and extending your mandate, but we'll go ahead with that. Um, everything else is going to be moderate, except for disasters, rare disasters, because I screw myself over enough by instigating rebellions. I don't need Mother Nature to come and fuck me in the ass while we're at it. So let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, so, like I said, 50 population is going to start us off a little bit small, but honestly, I feel like 100 population is probably the easiest. Anything over that, it's kind of difficult because you have to build a shit ton of housing right off the bat. And people get pissed off with you really, really quickly because when you start with 200 people, you don't start with more houses. So you just start with a shit ton of people unhappily squatting in shacks and they very quickly become disillusioned with your government and overthrow you before you can build them houses or build a large enough military to keep them in line. So I like, yeah, like 50 is okay. It's kind of a slower build up, but... Um, we'll, we'll try to accelerate as much as possible. So Tropico is actually one of my favorite games out there. I, I just think it's so kind of ridiculous and over the top sometimes. It's pretty entertaining. Okay, so this looks like a pretty interesting setup here. Alright, so first things first, let's go ahead and build ourselves a road. The linear road goes out this way. Um, what's going on here? There we go. Okay, so we can go this way, and then we're going to go this way. Alright, so there we go. Now we're, I think we're connected. Are we connected? I don't know. Are we connected now? I don't know if we're connected here. I, I don't think we actually are, so this is a little bit stupid now. I had such a, such a good plan in place here. There we go. That's more like it. All right, though it took me way too many tries. All right, so first things first, we need to go ahead and try to get ourselves an economy built up here. So easiest way to get an economy started is to go for something like rum, because rum production, rum makes you a ridiculous amount of money in the early game. Kind of a pain to ask to build, but it, yeah, like the amount of money that you make is probably worth it. Okay, so let's see. We just start off your rum production. You do need a sugar plantation, so we'll want to build one of those probably over here somewhere. You actually want two sugar plantations. I should correct myself. Um, why is this being such a pain in the ass building wise? I don't understand why the roads are being such a bitch around the palace right now. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but okay, whatever. What is the fuck is going on here? There we go. I don't know what that was, but it was like, I don't know why the roads are being such a pain in the ass. There we go. I guess that will have to do it then. Um, okay, so there we go. There is our roads, and we're going to want to put down another sugar plantation right up here, right next to the first one. Okay, so now that we've got those set up, we are going to want to build a rum distillery as well. 
Alright, so I guess this kind of works out because I can just put the rum distillery right next to the palace. That way, when shit gets rough, I can just go and have a few shots and everything's going to feel better. Um, so, one, my, one of my secrets to good government, just drink a shit ton of liquor and everything should be fine. Okay, we're going to quick build the bunkhouse too, just so people don't get too pissed off right off the bat. We can't really do any research, but we're going to start employee of the month, because otherwise I'm just going to forget about it. Okay, let's go ahead and put it on four times speed and see what happens. Four times, I think, is as fast as this game goes. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, still just could go four times. All right. So we now have our first sugar plantation up, second sugar plantation up, and the distillery should be up. So that's going to jumpstart our economy. Um, you do generally want two plantations for the one factory building. Now, um, you can build a dunder still that's going to reduce, your, uh, reduce the sugar consumption of this distillery. Governor, but the you're still going to want to produce a surplus rather a than have too request. little sugar. And if you go with one plantation, you'll usually have too little. Okay, so we want to go ahead and do this, and we're going to go and build the chapel to make the rebels all very, very happy. Because apparently, not only are they rebels, they're also quite religious, so good for them. We'll give them some place where they can go and kneel before God. Excuse me, Ellsborn. Uh, I need Okay, that was stupid because we just built a rum distillery, but oh well, I guess we could build another one. How much are these things? They're 9,000. That's not at all cheap. I don't know if I actually want to build that other distillery or not. Um, let's go ahead and abandon that see what happens with crown standing. So we lost some standing with the crown, but who gives Viva a shit? La okay, so let's go ahead and get ourselves some revolutionary immigrants. What we might do is we might just try to bum rush our way straight through to getting ourselves some... Uh, we'll try to bum rush straight towards declaring independence if it doesn't look like we're going to be able to fulfill our crown mandate. That might be our actual best option. In order to do that, we will need to eventually unlock... We'll unlock the fort now, actually. And we'll go ahead and build one just so that we can start off with having soldiers. Okay. So, this is one of two options. Either one, you have to play the crown stupid games and keep declare and uh, keep completing missions for them. The other option is you can try to bum rush for independence. Bum rushing for independence is perfectly viable. It's not really that hard to pull off. You just have to complete a shit ton of revolutionary it's quests. Nice to have choices, they're relatively isn't it? easy to get. Choices like continue as governor or begin a new career in manual. This one, though, we actually are going to complete because why not? It's a freaking coconut harvester. It's so stupidly easy to build and then just demolish because it costs us literally nothing to build it. There we go. I mean, like, we could even quick build this if we wanted to. And once we quick build, it will just give us a little bit more time. Um, I ask myself, Governor, do the ends justify so the So we need a fisherman's wharf. It. Okay, so we can go ahead and do that. We can build a fisherman's wharf. That shouldn't be too much of an issue here. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, maybe it's more of an issue than I thought. Okay. I thought we could build one without any major problems. There we go. Um, so I guess it just doesn't want to build there. So we could go off on that, or we could go this way, maybe? I don't know if there's anything better, really. Is there any fish? There's not even fish on that side of the island. Okay, so we live on a tropical island with apparently no fish. Don't ask. I have no idea. Because biology. Okay, there we go. So we'll build that. We'll have a fisherman's wharf as well. Then we'll harvest a bunch of fish just to make the revolutionaries happy. Okay. Alright, construction people. It would be nice if you people actually built something useful. The other reason that we're building a fort is because we want to make sure that we have troops in case we get attacked by pirates. Um, pirate attacks are a very real thing in the colonial era, and I've had it happen to me before where I wasn't prepared for it, and I promptly got attacked by pirates and had some major issues. Alright, so we have a construction office here. Let's go with more hands, because clearly we need more construction people, because they're lazy fucks and they're not building like they're supposed to. Okay, there we go. So now we I have a military base to go. To be still and, okay, so we're going to extend our mandate. We're going to take a look at our population. We have 16 vacant jobs with 15 unemployed people, so these should even out pretty decently. I don't know why it's proving so difficult for it to do so, but hopefully it should even out. We have 716 rum, that should say, okay, so there we go, we got 6,500 from that. Okay. 
So we're at 18,000, we're a little bit low. We're going to go ahead and build another bunkhouse here, just to give some more housing that's not shack related to people. All right. Something does not feel quite right. So governor. we could go ahead and accept this, have an average revolutionary's approval of 60, and then have a percentage of population support the revolutionary 60 out of 60. So we only need a little bit more approval with the revolutionaries, and we should be able to go ahead and declare our independence. And once again, this is how you bum rush your way to independence. We're going to build a tavern that should put us over the mark. And we also have our military fortress here. Uh, Excuse me, Ellsport. I need a team. So we don't actually care about this because we're going to just declare independence, but we'll accept it anyway just to keep them nice and happy. Why not? Okay, so we're still trying to produce some fish here. I don't know why we're struggling. Oh, it's because we're still over there. All right, fair enough. Um, the only thing I am worried about about declaring independence is we do want to make sure we have some cash reserve because basically the crown will embargo your island. And that causes some issues because you then have, you know, no way to make money. Okay, so next you have some good crocodile farming area here. Crocodile farms are one of my other preferred industries. The reason being, crocodile farms produce leather. Um, you can also go ahead with more of these cattle farms if you're desperate for food. Uh, because they produce meat in addition to hides, which can be turned into leather. But by producing leather directly, you kind of negate the need for a tannery, which saves you on jobs and is just generally a lot more efficient. Um, what are you doing, fishing boat? What, what are we doing here? Are you lost? Okay, so why are we not producing pig? What is going on here? Why are we not producing fish? I don't understand it at all. Okay, so we might have to go ahead and fulfill this trade route. If we get to like three years, we'll fulfill the trade route. Because obviously it's not working otherwise. What the fuck is the problem with the Teamsters Union? Why are these people so freaking lazy? God damn it. <laughs> okay, there we go. At least we have 500 realm there now. Okay, so that's good. We have 500 realm. That should make us a little bit of income. Alright, there we go. We have that. Now we can go ahead and build ourselves another bunkhouse here. Once again, that's going to help us in terms of getting some more people into our little city here. There we go. Alright, so another bunkhouse goes down. That should help. And uh, I think we do really want another Teamsters Union. Oh, I mean, like, we have doctors. They should be going to pick this crap up. Our revolution um, is as yet only marginally good. There we go. So now we can go ahead and get 10 revolutionary immigrants. And what is my approval with the revolutionary? It's so low. I don't know why we're so low at this point. I have to go ahead and figure out how to increase our approval with the revolutionary segment. Hmm. I guess we could go look at population. So, we could look at the revolutionaries here. I don't know if we really... Okay, so we have revolutionary demand. That's going to go up over time. Faction leadership is pretty low. I guess they just don't really like me. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's really it. We just need to go ahead and... Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we need we could go ahead and build a library, I guess. Uh, we could also build a pirate cove. Why not do that? That could help us as well. So we'll go ahead and build a pirate cove. A little bit expensive, but whatever. Okay, there we go. Pirate cove. One pirate cove coming right up. Uh, we could also take a look and see if we can produce any, like, precious metals for export, which is perfect because we have a gold mine right here. That's beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So, with all of that done, we should have... And we'll build a bunkhouse out here, too, because why not? Okay, quick build it. Fuck it, why not? There we go. Alright, so that's built. Should be able to quick build that as well. So now we have a gold mine, too. 
And now we have Pirate Cove soon enough. Should be almost done. There we go. Okay, so we have the Pirate Cove down, so now we can send people out on raids. And what we're going to do is we're going to go steal the Registrant of Sarmakin. This is one of my two favorites. It's either this one or the Brandenburger Gate. Hey, Gear Sophia is good if you're just going to neglect healthcare completely. That helps you out a lot and can save you actually quite a bit of money because healthcare is expensive, but... Um, this one I like a lot because all children automatically gain high school education, which really helps you once your island has a bigger population. You have more people being born here. Um, it just kind of accelerates your overall growth. The other one, Brandenburg Gates, nice because it keeps people from having diehard political views, which reduces the number of rebels and disorder on your island. So, yeah. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we'll do that. The people have a request, but for safety reasons, it is a secret request. Okay, so now they want us to commit the or to do the loot raid. Okay, so we, okay, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and loot some uh, gold, I guess. Okay, so let's go ahead and loot that. And then we'll do the registry. That'll let us complete that operation. Okay, and you can see with the gold mine here, we're now making a lot more income. Um, What's our unemployment at? We have seven unemployed, four vacant jobs, so that's okay. We should be just fine there. And our economy should be chugging along kind of nicely. Hopefully. We'll see. It always goes wrong for me. Uh, might as well go ahead and complete this trade route. Um, what can we export? We can export fish. We can export gold. Let's go ahead and export 500 or 125 gold, whatever it was. I wasn't bothering to read. So there we go. And that'll just give us a little bit more time on the crown uh, mandate here. I'm not really low. I could probably get it done. I just want to give myself a little bit of a cushion. And when you have those easy to complete missions, it's kind of like a why not type thing. You know, I mean, like, you don't lose anything by completing them. So might as well complete it, right? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and build this here. Uh, build another bunkhouse that's just going to give us a little bit more housing for our people. We're slowly kind of getting everybody into bunk houses, which is good. Should increase uh, happiness a little bit more. And we're at 58 revolutionaries approval, so we're almost at the point where we could declare independence. And there we go. We have another bunkhouse built. Okay, there we go. That's going to help us a little bit with housing. We still have quite a few shacks out here, but there we go. Uh, we were able to complete that trade route. Well, you did the right thing, which is... And we're going to go ahead and extend our mandate, because why not? And we could build another fort. I'm not convinced you actually need two forts to complete, uh, to complete your rebellion. In fact, what we could do is we could probably just buy guard towers and build a couple guard towers here. We should be good to go. All right, so there's a guard tower. And then you build a couple while you're being attacked, but you should be just, just fine and dandy. All right, so uh, yeah. still churning out quite a bit of rum here. How's this loot raid go? Oh, we're almost done with the loot raid. Perfect. Uh, 5,800, so we're making a pretty decent amount of income now. Um, the only thing that sucks is our population is kind of going down a little it's bit. It's nice to have choices, isn't it? A choice is like... Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, we'll, we'll just accept it because we can, I suppose. Um, We really just need more people is what we really need. Um, our population is definitely kind of sagging here. And the nice thing about this is you can go ahead and you can see what people are kind of dying from. Um, because you can see we're declining from one here. Um, and you see your 20 decline here. You have 20 deaths from bad health care, so that's not a good thing. Definitely kind of need to find a way. Can we build health care buildings at this point? Not really, no. Um, why can't, oh, because we have to wait until the World War. So what you can do with this is you can go ahead and you, we can build utility installations here. And that could actually help us out a lot. 
our revolution is as yet okay so there we go we get 10 revolutionary immigrants that should help us a little bit with increasing revolutionary approval improving health care via the port should also help just a little bit here um all right so we've got 200 gold 1000 coffee 1600 corn okay so that's good news all right what else can we build in order to make the rebels happy? You can do it with churches, can only be built during the World Wars. It's kind of odd that you can't build a church until the World War era. You would think you could build a church in the freaking colonial era, but whatever. Um, okay, so we'll go ahead and build a library, I guess. There we go. Corruption is so rife, Governor, that we have to pay. A okay, so we're going to accept this, and I think we'll be able to get. Oh, whoa, look, what is this? Are these. Oh, uh, we're getting attacked by pirates. Go figure. What well, a bunch of bastards. So, this is why we have a fort in the first place is to defend against these pirate attacks. You can see our soldiers are coming out here, and they are going to fight the pirates off. Um, successfully. Viva la revolution! Okay, so we get 10 more revolutionary immigrants. That should help us a little bit here. And now we will actually start researching the employee of the month, which will help our production out quite a bit overall. So yeah, good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and repair this building here because it's damaged. We're going to add more palace guards. This is all kind of boosting ourselves up for the revolution. Um, so this is kind of troublesome because we've had a lot of decline. Um, with 23 deaths, mostly due to poor, poor health care. So yeah. So there we go. We got 16 people though that time around. So that helped us out quite a bit. And that should give us enough to go ahead and build... Uh, it might be worth looking into tobacco. I don't know. Ooh, we actually have some pretty good tobacco producing land over here. There we go. So let's go ahead and build a tobacco plantation though and just give us a little bit more income and why the hell not. Because we do have plenty of... Oh no, we actually don't. That may employ people. Whoopsies, my bad. But we can also go ahead and build ourselves a house, some bunk houses here. Uh, let's well build this one up here, I guess. Up here by the. Yeah, there we go. And the new task, so you task. You can either choose to governor. pay the crown, we which avoids a war, or you taste. can go ahead and declare independence and prepare for war. We are going to go ahead and declare independence. Feisty little colony, aren't we? Okay, so the crown is going to come after us in about 10 days, so it's fine. Or, so I'm sorry, 720 days, I guess. I don't know where I got 10 from. It's a little bit more than that. All right, so we're still making plenty of gold here, and we don't care about revolutionary standing anymore because we essentially got what we wanted anyway. Okay, so now with this being said, we can go ahead. We could try to export coffee. Everything's pretty expensive right now. I think that's because of the embargo, so we're not going to fuck around with trade routes right now. Um, we're really just going to focus on trying to defend our island. And in order to do that, you really don't need anything extra, I don't think. You really just need to really set these guys to defend buildings. These guys should be good to go as well. Because we do have the extra guard positions there, so we should be relatively okay now. We have a lot of realm that's not making it to this dock, and that makes me kind of sad. Corruption is so rife, Governor, that we have to pay a bribe to find out. Okay, so fine, we'll accept that. I don't think it really matters because we'll finish off anyway. Okay, so we got 14,000 
dollars from that last trade ship. That's really what we're kind of looking for here. Okay. Because we really want to have about a hundred. Ideally, you'd have a hundred thousand by the time you hit the World War era. And that's really just because the 100,000 is going to let you build all the new buildings and really kind of get yourself set up and running really quick. Um, but it doesn't look like we're going to get that done this time around, so we shall see. Close our way. We need to be close to researching employee of the month. Okay, we're almost there on employee of the month. That's what I really want there. Um, because that's I think that'll let us produce a lot more and make more money off of our people. So I don't have a lot of support right now. That's kind of a bad thing. Uh, not sure really why not. So faction leader, okay, so trade revolutionary demand. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what we'll do is we will go ahead and build more entertainment. Because when people are pissed off with you, the best thing you could possibly do is build some good entertainment. There we go. Tavern. Boom. Got it. Except that we don't actually have workers Life here, so that's kind of problematic. Never boring. Oh my god. Seriously, we need to deliver planks to the pirate code. You've got to be fucking shitting me right now. Okay, um, so we still have a lot of vacant jobs, so I'm not actually going to... Alright, so there we go. We got more people into housing, at least. We got some more income, so that's good news. This is a very low approval rating we have here, so I don't know exactly. Charismatic, revolutionary demand, so we must not be getting a lot of our buildings, I guess, maybe, or... Not really sure here what else we could build. We could sell a, build a grocer, I guess. I don't know if this is actually going to help or not, but we, we can see. Go ahead and get that built. Oh, okay, so now we're being attacked by the crown, so we're going to go ahead and pause real quick. We're just going to build some guard towers. Right. Why would you fucking zoom out so far? God damn it. There we go. Alright, so we just put up a guard tower here. And it's really just kind of like a diversionary thing. It should just divert the crap out of people. Okay, so we need to go ahead and change our fort to actually attack people. Okay, or we don't because it looks like our troops are just going to engage the royalist troops and defeat them in the field. Like I said, you really only need that one fort well, to I handle suppose this. Did rather well. All right, so now we advanced to World War era. My fearless leader so for that's the first good. Time. We are As now in the World War period. Presidente. Okay, great. Um, so we'll let all people vote. We're going to go with militia for now, but we will change that eventually to professional soldiers. Okay, so that's that. That's done. All right, so now we have a little bit of a better idea what it is that we're looking at in terms of our governments. So we're going to go ahead and pause the game real quick, just because I want to kind of see where we're at. What do we need to do to make people happy with us? Okay. Hmm. So I think the most important thing is really going to be getting our economy up and or not economy, our like religious stuff up and running. And our healthcare up and running. So let's go ahead and build a clinic. So I think that would really kind of go a long ways. Now, I'm actually going to demolish these buildings here. Um, 
And the reason that we are demolishing these buildings is because uh, it's going to give us more workers, which is what we really need. All right, so we have the clinic now. But we'll go ahead and build the clinic right there. So we're going to go ahead and put in green waste chopper that should reduce the upkeep required for this by a little bit. Alright, and then we're going to hire a foreign doctor to come here, and that should help us out a little bit with making people happy. We also need to make sure that we are modernizing our economy and our housing. So this is kind of the hardest part here. We're going to go ahead and buy the blueprint for apartments. And we're slowly going to start to move these to apartments. So we're going to demolish all of these in here. And we're going to put in a big shiny new apartment building, except we can't because we didn't demolish it. Okay, there we go. Much better. Okay, so now we can put in our apartment building there. Alright, we're now in the World War era too, so we can go ahead and do a couple of other things. We can research martial law, and we can also go ahead and enact our old hey, edict, employee wants of the month, and that's going to make everybody work double shifts. Yay! It's always good to feel like you're oh, productive and then? industrious. Okay, so there we go. We now have, have an apartment complex up. Prices, this wants us to produce shellfish. Looks like the bears um, ate the bulls. <laughs> What a okay, mess. I guess we can Excuse use shellfish. Me, I okay, so now the Axis wants to fulfill a trade route with us, which we probably can do okay. We just don't know. Okay, what can we possibly export here? Oh, we can export coconuts. There you go. Congratulations, Axis. You guys can have a shit ton of coconuts while you're in Russia. Congratulations. All right, so with that being said, that ends the colonial era, and I feel like that's a pretty good place for us to go ahead and stop this episode. Um, yes, I understand how we go forward. Thank you. Um, and basically, like from here, what we're going to do next episode, we're going to try to navigate through the World War period. It might take us two episodes just because I want to make sure we really build up our infrastructure before we get to the Cold War era. But... Um, we are definitely going to be progressing into Remember, the World Wars period. We're going to try to get ourselves some good industry up so and running, too. Um, and with you a solid economic it. base, we're making a good amount of money going into the Cold, uh, the Cold War era. We should be in a pretty strong position to increase our status and eventually get to modern era, get a nuclear program, and therefore we won't have to worry about uh, foreign entities anymore. And once we have that set up, we're going to go ahead and set up an economy uh, especially more so, so, we're starting the Cold War era, but really it's going to be more so in the modern era where we really go ahead and get ourselves geared up towards siphoning the money from our people into our own bank account to assure that we get a nice, comfortable retirement. It's like a pension plan, except with a lot more corruption, bribery, and imprisoning political rivals along the way. If you want to see how we're going to go ahead and get that set up, I would skip forward a few episodes. I will link the episode in the description. Um, I'll link that episode where we really start setting up the siphon, uh, the siphon economy. Um, so that way you can skip ahead to that if you want to. The other of these episodes is just kind of how you get your economy set up so you can get there and have enough money where you're actually making a significant amount to your Swiss bank account. So thanks for watching and hope we'll catch you next time.